We've heard more and more law enforcement leaders say they can't arrest, we can't arrest our way out of the opioid crisis. So today, a large group of police chiefs are learning a different way to attack the epidemic. Local 4's Larry Spruill joins us live. And Larry, it's all about encouraging second chances for people in the grip of this drug addiction. Kimberly, that seems to be the goal. I spoke with several police officers tonight and they tell me, like you said, that we cannot just arrest our way out of the opioid drug addiction program. But they say that the Hope Not Handcuffs program is another option. It's a meeting of the minds inside the Kego Harbor City Hall Thursday between a local judge and law enforcement from all over Metro Detroit. The topic at the forefront is an organization called Hope Not Handcuffs, led by Judge Linda Davis, the program's founder and the chair of Michigan's Opioid Task Force Committee. It's an initiative of Families Against Narcotics. The program provides much needed assistance to police departments to help their opioid addicted citizens. It's huge. Our death numbers doubled last year and we are losing one person every 11 minutes to an overdose. Last year in the United States, we lost over 54,000 people to overdoses and over 20,000 babies were born addicted to drugs. Davis says the problem is just getting worse. So that's where the program comes in. Once a police department becomes a hope not handcuff partner, anyone with an addiction can walk into that police station stating they need help. Ferndale Police Chief Timothy Collins says this program is needed. We come across uh, opioid abuse, not only the folks that live in our town, but the people that traverse our town. And there are several agencies across the country and across the state of Michigan that are participating in this program. One is in our local area, and that is Macomb County. We're live tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. Yeah. Okay, Larry, thank you.